so what we are going to do first is iron the zipper tits outside because it curls on itself and in order to be able to get to the edge of the zipper tit as close to the zipper tit as possible we have to iron it since we are using a regular zipper foot and not an invincible zipper foot okay so generally i just want to explain to you guys so that you guys can understand this the invincible zipper tit calls down so it's difficult for a regular zipper foot to be able to get as close to the zipper tit as possible in order to make our zipper look invincible okay so i am going to iron the zipper tit outwards so that it is straight and eventually it will curl back the reason why i'm ironing it is so that my zipper foot will be able to get as close to the zipper tit as possible in order to make my zipper invincible okay understand I know you understand. So this is the foot I am using. No, it is not a zipper foot. It is a road sim foot. Airman foot, actually. So yeah, now I am just arranging my dress. I don't know if you guys can see the line, but there is a line right there where I want my zipper to be okay so one thing i like to do is preview what i want to achieve so first i am going to close the zipper and figure out how it's going to look okay this is the right side and it's supposed to be facing up okay so i don't know if you guys can see my hands just look at what i am doing right there i am taking the other side of the zipper out of the way and that first part i am going to flip it so that the teeth of the zipper is facing the side seam of that part of the dress okay i don't know if i'm making sense i don't know if you guys can understand but basically the right side of the zipper tape is touching the right side of the dress so the zipper tape is literally upside down right now okay so it's zipper teeth facing that side seam like that part the zipper teeth is facing the side seam okay so i am going to pin it down pin the zipper tape down all the way to the end and i am going to sew trying to preview what i want to achieve just to make sure that by the time i get back from the sewing machine when i zip it up it is on the right side okay so try to preview what you want to achieve before you go to the sewing machine and sew it down now i want you to notice that my zipper is upside down the other zipper tape is out of the way and my zipper is basically upside down so yours should look like this so now we are at the sewing machine don't be like Juliet I really don't know why I don't have a regular zipper foot till now this is a struggle guys trying to sew an invincible zipper without even a regular zipper foot okay so you need to get a zipper foot I am just assuming that you are using a zipper foot and not a MN foot because this is a struggle <laughs> So guys, we are back from the sewing machine and I am just going to arrange my dress properly so I can figure out what I am doing. So one side of the zipper is attached and we are going to attach the second side of the zipper to the other side of the dress. Now I want to just zip up the zipper in order to mark out where the joints of the top and the skirts meet okay 
I don't know if you are sewing on a skirt or a pant but if you are sewing on a dress and there is a point where the top and the skirt meet we have to mark that out so that it aligns and one line is not up and the other line is down I don't know if you guys can understand okay so that the middle point rhymes okay so i am going to do the same that i did to the first side i am going to repeat to the second side i am going to attach the zipper to the dress the teeth of the zipper is going to face the side seam of that part of the dress okay so i am going to attach that part where i marked with the pen it's going to be on the line in order for it to align so the zipper teeth is facing the side seam so now my skirt is officially upside down okay did i say skirt i mean <laughs> the zipper rather is upside down so i am going to pin just like i did to the previous side and i am going to sew and make sure you sew as close to the zipper tail as possible okay so guys we are back from the sewing machine and most of the times when i do it at this point i'm always like oh my god Juliet, what have you done but all we have to do is flip our zipper tail to the right side and we are good to go okay so this is me trying to figure out and finally i flipped it to the right side and we are on the right track okay so now i want you guys to notice the middle point where i marked and i am super duper proud of myself because it is perfect i don't want to say it is almost perfect it is perfect 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 okay so that is the essence of marking the zipper so now i am going to zip it all the way up and i am going to flip my dress to the wrong side so what we are doing now is we are going to close the rest of the dress okay now in order to do that i am going to take the zipper tail out of the way and i am going to sew as close to the previous seam as possible down to the end of the dress are you following do you understand if you do not understand do not hesitate to leave a question in the comment section and i will try as much as possible to help you out okay so i am going to say that again so what i am doing here is closing the rest of the dress okay so now i am going to take my zipper tool pin it out of the way and i am going to start sewing as close to where the previous sewing ended and i'm going to take it all the way down and just like that guys that is the end i hope this video is comprehensive enough see you in my next video bye